Well, we just got hit with a quick downpour and we're still under a tornado warning, but it is low tide. And I didn't get out for much this week, so I gotta get out and check things out. All right, you can see the second part of the storm coming in. And just look at this piece right here. Now it's hard to tell right away, but this is filled. You can see that big piece of wire there. This is also filled with stuff. This big copper pipe there. It's a big brass nail. Some brass or copper coming out of there. Something heavy lead right there. But you're not moving this thing. The ocean will. You have to begin to question what form of modern art is this. I guess it keeps it all in one area. Man, oh man, it's good to be back here again. And you can see the most recent storms took off the top layer of mush. Now I can see a decent amount of stuff popping through. Oh, there's some more concretion. I think I had about enough of that stuff. Look at this pretty thing I just turned over. That's just not a color I see too often. Hmm. I'm not sure what that would have been. But a great looking color. You know how much I love this glass, but as I was about to pick that up, look at that interesting piece right there. That looks like any normal piece of a bottle sticking out, but it just was a little too round. I already flipped it over and so it wasn't a bottle. That's why I'm doing this play by play. But in any event, what is this? Look at that. I want to say it's almost a button. It might have a little chip in it there. Looks like a piece of fruit or something. Interesting. I don't really know what it is. But I love it. Look at how nice and washed out this section got from the rain the other day. Take me a while to search the top of this right now. I can certainly see quite a bit of glass and pottery, that's for sure. How do you spot the good stuff? Because it's in there. Got a couple pottery pieces right there I'm going to grab.
This one might be old. Let's take a look at it. It looks in good shape though. Look at this one. Not too deep, but I can tell there's a real hard bottom. Oh, I don't want to, oh, it's starting to come apart in my hands. Don't lose it. But that looks like a nice old one. We'll have to look it up and date it. It's ready to come apart. Unusual to get one intact with a scooper, but we've been finding the same bottle here a couple times in this area. And there it is. Beverages. And it's a pop off. Pop off. Well, I missed about a week. And in that time, it turns summer out. It's about 7 a.m. right now. The tide is going out. Low tide's at 8.30. You can see it's really calm. But the temperature is about 75 degrees already. That's the lighthouse. Let's see where the sun's coming up. And... Paul's down there somewhere already. Oh, look at him, he's in the water already. <laughs> well, I'm slowly getting down there towards him. You can see it is a miraculous day. I got these little buggers over here. Flipped over. So we're gonna somehow get them back into the water. Looks like a marble. This might need my headgear off. Okay, I'm not sure I can pull this off with both hands, but I think we can. Here we go. They got stuck in the tide. <clears throat> that would have been seagull food. Enjoy. You Jurassic creature from the Mesozoic, Mesozoic era. Yeah, now you're happy. Look at you guys moving. Cruising. Hey, Uncle Paul, we're heading your way. One of my favorite spots to consistently check out can see where the old road was and you can see where the old rock wall was built across you can even see it there and all the way at the bottom of this I'm guessing that's a wee penny it could be as old as an Indian head we'll soon find out we got Lincoln on the front some wheat strands in the back. Looks like it's a 40 something. I don't know, 21, 1921. All right, so I just got here, stepped into my first two little spots. And I always do the same thing pretty much. I eye around, I see what kind of wash has been going on. I saw a little piece of metal right here that I went to pick down, pick up, and look at what's sitting right next to it already. Now I gotta tell you, I've been jonesing for a marble for a while because I have not found one in about three or four weeks. And that looks like something to me. It has a little bit of a chip on it, but that is a bigger than normal marble that I usually find here. A gray color on it and just a tiny bit of a chip. But I am happy with that. It's almost shooter size, but a little bit smaller. 
and this little piece of brass that was sitting next to it all bent up. I'm not sure what that is, but I will bring it home to unbend it. I've been here for over exactly one minute. Not scan with me. Immediately I see this piece of glass. It has a really cool design in it. And I gotta decide. Should I bring that home? And I scan through all of this. <clears throat> little things, big things. Do you see that? Look at that little bead. And I'm taking that home. And I'm taking that home. So let me scan some more, look for color, look for shapes. Even if it's covered in mud. And you can sometimes pick out something perfectly circular or round. And now I move on. Well, I think I may have just spotted an old cough remedy bottle. Yeah, it's got a pertussin embossing on it. On both sides. That's a twist off and it's clear. But I'll take that home. See that over there? A little ketchup maybe? When you're really not coming up with much and you just want to pick a spot to dig, you always look for some kind of sign. Anything in that area, some bottles sticking out, a low-lying area, maybe some brass, or a strange object like that over there. I literally just kneeled down and saw it. It looked like a root initially. I flipped it over, and even from here, I don't know if I can grab it with one hand. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. A little doggy. And all you're missing is your tail. And your back leg, maybe. It's all good. <gasps> maybe more. No, nope, you're good, soft landing. There we go. All right. Uh, it's just so hard to catch these guys while you're scraping because <clears throat> the black can show up as anything in here. But I think we just pulled a really nice black or brown or a black and brown swirl marble. That's good. Second one for the day. Excellent. Got to do some more scraping here. I scooped up two great little pottery pieces. Some really nice design on it. Look at this guy. Well, it just wouldn't be a day without bringing some birds home. What you got? Camera? How are you doing with your videos? Doing alright. Not breaking any records. Oh, I don't need to be outside. Not outside. Hmm.
We don't usually go back this way. Huh? We don't usually go back this way. Well, I got the pinpointer, brand new pinpointer from Garrett, <clears throat> working the mud today to, to really isolate out some metal fragments and a nice cool little brass button. Hopefully this thing's going to isolate some more cool targets that I don't normally see come up to the surface. And right after that cool little button just popped out this circular piece. It looks possibly part of a pocket watch or a compact. I'm suspicious about the rather brass looking inside and it's kind of an aluminum outside. I certainly don't think that's one of the precious metals and I don't really see any designs on it. But it does look like that might have had a clip on it. I'm airing on the side of pocket watch, but it could be a compact. Still cool. I have something cool coming out of here that I found with the pinpointer. It's in deep enough to possibly be a full spoon. It's certainly not silver, but it's dug in, so it's gonna have a, yeah, look at that, spoon. And I think it's got some grapes there. It's interesting enough.